is a very well taken care of, much loved Vax Blade 4 from the One Power generation. And, well, initially the lady asked me if I wanted to buy it from her because she's bought a shark and doesn't need this anymore. However, she had a think and then what she actually asked me was could I make it better? Apparently it keeps dropping bits out of the bottom when she turns it off and she can't for the life of her figure out what it is. I think I've noticed a couple of things that might be causing it to do that and with the Victor V9 just out of the shop this is probably going to be a fairly simple video on fixing up this quite modern cordless vacuum cleaner and getting it to have some airflow once more. Let's have a look at what we're all probably expecting to see. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner and vax chums. How are you today? Yes, this is the most modern Vax blade that has ever graced our screens. We have had several of these older ones indeed. I've had this one knocking around for ages really without really knowing quite what to do with it. But yeah this is the generation after this one. If I just oh, take the wand off here we can see they didn't really change that much bar the entire chassis to take the one power removable battery as opposed to the one that's built in. Yeah, 275 watts at 18 volts. This is 180 watts at 21 volts. So some generation improvement has happened. Yeah, there's literally nothing. Oh. Less than nothing, which is fairly easy to work out why. Let's just see that this brush roll tries to spin Bless it. Yep. It does. I'm not going to fan it around any longer. We need to go straight into this, clean it all out first before the thing explodes and kills itself. And then see if that was all that was wrong with it, which I think it will be. We'll put this to one side and come back to it later. And yeah, I mean, she did apologise for not emptying it. And, I mean, I doubt that would have made a difference. Oh, dear. Instantly. I mean, I get a lot of flack for this. Oh, that's not plaster dust. It's talcum powder. Or, oh, it's carpet fresh. It doesn't really matter. That is the fine dust that, well, all cordless vacuum cleaners hate. All bagless vacuum cleaners hate. It just doesn't do them any good at all. And I now don't actually know how to take this part off oh hang on there is a ah there we go there's a lever there ah so in theory we can will this thing breathe without its cyclone yeah. yeah let's not do that okay yeah so that's now working ah now we can take this off and oh dear doesn't look too bad on the camera, but it should look more like that side, I think. Ah, we can now take this off. I don't know how much or how far we can go. Not very, I don't think, without removing those screws. But I don't think that's going to be too bad. I think all we're going to have to do now is just give all this a good vacuum off. And that will enable us to perhaps have a play with it before... I wash the filter because that, that needs to be washed.
that's probably just done 73% of all the work that this thing needs. So we can pop this back in. Don't think that quite matters where it goes. Put the filter on. Click, click. Um, yep, there's nothing, nothing caught in there. Although I shall give the flap a bit of a going over and oh, making sure that it, it goes in properly. Ah. There we go, I think. There's still nothing. Yeah. Still pretty much no suction. And I can pretty much guarantee you that is because that filter needs a good clean. But it will do for now. I'm going to look down the wand and yep, it is empty. Look down here, it is also empty. There is no blockages. However, there is a much bigger problem than that. Oh, are you going to undo by hand? No, you're not. Let me go get a screwdriver and a knife. Oof, there we go. And oh dear, there's. Oh no, wait. Well, there is a lot of hair under the cog. I may go a little bit further in a minute but it runs okay i think the biggest thing that we've got to do now is get busy are you gonna come off yeah oh gosh there we go look it's all packed in and this is when especially with the vax with their cheap cheap plastic all this stuff will start to melt and well as you know from the when we rebuilt the vax head with the new chassis that i found a couple of videos ago it happens let's get all of this hair off and well, I'll come back when the brush roll is cleaned up. And with that done, I mean, it's not going to set the world on fire, but equally, it's a vac blade. It never will. But hopefully, it will now pick some bits up and attempt to put them in its bin. works really really well I mean like I say the filter is still really clogged if we perhaps switch over to its older cousin you should note the change in the motor tone oh, wait, that won't work because it sounds completely different but again this one has quite a nice brush roll as well but you can just hear the airflow so much more with this one in fact this uh, this one has a washed filter but i think that it's actually a different shape and design yeah so we can't just cheat and put a washed filter in that one no i'm gonna have to bid you farewell for two or three days and get this filter washed and i'll oh, come back when it's done and we'll see if this sounds any different because it should sound much more free there it's got loads of airflow if we click that on pop this back in here this is nothing there at all so yeah this filter needs a flipping good wash i shall see you now a few days later oh, come off you stiff hunk of oh, goodness. that's very stiff i mean it's probably better than dyson where it just wobbles itself to death after six months yeah one spotless filter oh my goodness the filth 
that ran out of this. Luckily it hadn't penetrated too deeply. We've seen it before on Dysons and stuff where it, it sort of gets overwhelmed really quickly. And that almost saves it. So, you know, wipes the innards of this and giving this an airline out when I did something else the other day. In theory, now... Ooh. I mean, it's still only a back flow, but... Oh, we're about to lose the battery and no point in charging it up just for this little bit. Does it run the brush roll any better? Yes! Very good indeed. I'm not going to kill it because I don't want to ruin the battery for the owner and oh, I'm going to have to get the airline back out and clean all of that junk off once more. Of course, it's a Vax, so just that little bit, it's already got the filter dirty. Oh dear, I don't know. The lady has a shark cordless and this, and she doesn't want both. And I'm not going to charge her much money for this. I'm going to tell her to sling this on Facebook Marketplace where she can sell it and keep her, just a newer anti hair wrap shark, it's probably going to be better. And then I can watch it languish on Facebook for like six months, not selling because. People just ain't a fan of a Vax blade, but yeah, they are what they are. Cheap and cheerful if you need something, just keep it away from fine dust and clean the filter out and look at the brush roll. And thank yourselves very much for watching. We hope that you have enjoyed and I and some other vivacious Vax will see you soon. Bye bye.